What's up, baby? We here at the Sports Academy, watching JT sharpen them tools. Just seeing what greatness look like, you know what I'm saying? After the Celtics lost in Game 7, of the Eastern Conference Finals. There's a lot of questions about what the C's are gonna do this off season. They could make some massive changes. Now the big question is going to be, what do you do with Jalen Brown? The Celtics have been quite busy, of course, acquiring Chris Stapps Porzingis, sending Marcus Smart to Memphis. A bit of a, of a surprise move here. Celtics not content to run it back. I thought that we needed to balance our roster and make sure that we looked at the best ways to do that um, and that meant that we were going to likely lose a really 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 good player you know the greatest legacy that you can leave right is to be someplace and it's better off because you were there celtics have made a pick here at 38 and it sounds like it's going to be jordan walsh out of uh, arkansas I'm really obviously happy to have you thank you for you know coming in twice and showing your interest in us and you know, we think highly of you, thought highly of you the whole time. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to spending a lot of time together and getting to work. I think that's the main thing, no? It's, it, it's what got me excited that you guys are already so close. The team is already so close and, and I felt like I could fit really well with this team, with this group, and, um, and that made it real easy for me. Uh, I had this opportunity and I had to take it and, and, and join this team. Excited for this press conference and, and hopefully to see my, see my jersey with the number eight. Stapps and excited to have him here. He's been here the last couple of days. Very excited when I first heard the news. Uh, just being on a high-level organization like Boston, a historic franchise, made it extremely easy for me to make that decision. It was a crazy day. And I went to sleep not knowing where I was going to end up and then woke up in the morning with some good news. Uh, it's what I wanted and it came true. I know it was a tough trade for a lot of the fans because of how loved Marcus Smart is here. Listen, we're trying to win. Obviously, we want to, everybody that comes here to understand what the ultimate goal is, right? And everybody that is a part of this group to understand what the ultimate goal is, and that's to put all of our strengths together and, and try to win it all. I think it's impossible to replace him, no, or what he did for this organization and for this team. <laughs> I'll keep this one. I just want to gain the, the respect and the support from the fans by also playing hard, by also giving 110%. But being myself, being being the player that I am and, and bringing what I bring. Mic check, mic check, one, two. We in the, we in the Celtics arena, man. Celtics practice facility. We lit, day one. What's good? Good to How see you again. Congratulations. So, appreciate it. No, you know I am, for sure. What's 
I look good in, I've been told I look good in green. So, you know, I finally got my jersey and all. You know, I'm super excited. I'm ready for you on this journey. It's midsummer. I've been seeing the guys sharpen up their tools, everybody looking good, getting the workout, being consistent. I like what I'm saying. I'm just here supporting, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a great year this year. I'm my man JT, JB working together. I like to see that. Hey, we're expecting big things this year, baby. We're expecting big things. Bro, you know, you know how we coming. If you on that side, just stay on that side. That's all I gotta say. It was, it was good. You know, um, it was way more competition stuff than I thought it was gonna be, which made it even more fun for me. Um, just to be able to get up and down, you know, and play with those guys and like, get a feel for them. Like, that, was, that was amazing for the first day, for sure. Great thing about summer league is it allows players and staff to kind of do something that a little bit different what you do than what you do during the season. And that's the great thing about it for this portion of the season and this portion of summer league and where these guys are in their journey is that um, we get to be a part of it and it's going to hopefully the goal is that we're all better when the season starts and in a better position to uh, to win games and try to do something special. Welcome to the day in the life of Jordan Walsh. Let's get to it. It's pregame. Uh, we're gonna watch some film. You know, I might be able to eat a little bit, find some food or something. And then get ready to go to the arena and warm up the play. Simple. What you got, bro? What you got, where you get snacks from, bro? Oh, man. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you by any chance have any type of something I could snack on? If it's possible. If not, he snitched on me. He did snitch on you. <laughs> but this, this is now between us. All right, I'm gonna get these ankles taped up. All right, we gotta get taped, you feel me, for the game. Another day to compete, you feel me, so. Can't complain. Uh, I'm gonna hop on this bus, lock in, listen to my little music. Looking at their first win, LA looking at their first loss. I mean, I really was just coming in thinking about you know to do whatever it takes to win. Obviously, I wanted to you know play sort of like a role that I would if I was playing with like a guy like Jason Tatum. You know, just being ready to hit those open shots and make easy plays. That was kind of the focus. Oh yeah, man. Hey, we got a sneaker coming. You already know what it is. We're just gonna see what they got. See what's cracking. They're not doing tattoos. No way. I'll show you too, my boy. It's crazy. All right, I'm back. I definitely want this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do two for fifty. All right, we had to check out. I was getting shamed for being cheap, so I had to get something. All right, that's a wrap with Jordan Walsh. I'll see y'all next time.
It was great talking to you guys earlier today. And, you know, I closed out talking about we live to do what? We live to make history. Well, you know, today we have a very special occasion that you are definitely going to be a part of this history. Is Mr. Brown in here? He chose to bring this thing to MIT and have the youth here to witness him to sign this monumental contract with the Boston Celtics. I appreciate the investment and commitment um, from the Celtics and from the rest of the community. And that investment and commitment will be felt in return from me here in Boston, on and off the floor, but also hopefully soon around the world. Um, you guys being here is special for me today. Um, you guys represent the next generation. You represent the future. And everything I do is try to make this world a better place. So um, thank you all for being in attendance. Um, thank you all for being up here. Thank you all for sharing this moment. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. Today was great, man. It was like a movie, you know, having the kids be here to be a part of the community. Um, being able to have John Carlos here and be able to go on stage. It just was a, it was a great day. So I'm, I'm happy to be a part of the community. I'm happy that I got to share the moment with my community. And we got a lot of work to do in the future, so just stay tuned. We here. Jalen Brown's bridge program. I came from New York City to come support my guy. I'm so proud of each and every one of y'all. Looking at y'all, I see myself in y'all. Y'all can achieve anything y'all want in life. Y'all got a great leader right here. Make some noise for Jalen Brown, y'all. I have an artist, a mega artist, to be able to do a, a, a performance at the end. I think it just makes the whole thing, it just puts a, a cherry on top for the bridge program and it's been great this year. I want to tell each and every one of y'all thank you, we appreciate you, and we're gonna celebrate on a good note, all right? The world is. The world is. The world is. The world is. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in, bring it in. Bridge on three. One, two, The Celtics have acquired guard Drew Holiday from the Blazers in a blockbuster deal one day before media day. I feel like coming here is definitely my best chance of winning and being able to help the guys here that uh, have made big moves and, and done great things in this league. So I'm here to really just help step up that game and become a champion. Make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen. What's the Celtics have a team to beat in the Eastern Conference, if not the entire NBA? Even though it's been a whirlwind, it's been exciting too to get to land on a team of this caliber, to be able to compete and try to win a championship. Uh, just know that it's not sweet over here, but that we want to win.